Hey everyone, it's Rich from The Kel and Rich Show. Thank you so much for being here. I wanted to show you some really fantastic footage that we took from a concert that Kel and I went to with our buddy Will Harden from the band New Messiah. His, he and his friend came down from Tampa in a Mustang and we met uh, at Nico McBrain's Rock and Roll Ribs. Uh, Nico is, the, of course, the drummer for Iron Maiden. So he had a uh, he, he has a restaurant right next to the venue uh, in Fort Lauderdale. So we went to the Culture Room, and the first band that opened up was um, Even Adam, or Adam, and I think it's Even Adam. I was, really wasn't too fond of them. I mean, they did a good job, but uh, it just wasn't wasn't our cup of tea. And then, before Queensryche came on, because that's that's who we were really going to see. We, Will Will was nice enough to to gift us with tickets, and we had a whole kind of night together, you know, with with eating and the show, and you know, the after show it was just fantastic. The second band was John Five and the Creatures, and if you don't know who John Five is, let me tell you, without spoiling too much, John Five uh, was born in Michigan. At age 17, he moved to Los Angeles. And he was introduced to uh, one of the uh, band members of White Snake, and that was kind of one of his big breaks. And then he was introduced to um, people like Alice Cooper, Paul Stanley, Lita Ford, Ozzy Osbourne. Eventually, he became the guitarist for uh, David Lee Roth. Um, he then uh, went to work with, I'm not sure when, where Rob Halford came in. Of course, Rob, Rob Halford from Judas Priest, the, the, the lead of Judas Priest. Um, and then one of their albums was remixed by Trent Reznor, Nine Inch Nails. So, you know, starting there. And then Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson was actually responsible for giving, um, he was, uh, John was, or um, John was born, John William Lowry. And Marilyn Manson actually gave, uh, John, his stage name, John Five, and it's, it's, it has a biblical connotation. And John was like, yeah, that's that's really cool. And he was also the fifth member of, of Marilyn Manson back, back in the day. And I don't think I'm skipping any. Um, when he was with Rob Halford, uh, he, his, the band name was Two, as in T, sorry, Two, W-O. And yeah, Marilyn Manson, and of course then Rob Zombie. And Rob Zombie, he and Rob Zombie co-wrote uh, a bunch of albums together, and eventually John Five uh, did his own thing uh, with the band called The Creatures, and that's who we saw. So I had no idea what to expect. Will was like, you got to see this guy. He's, he's a guitar virtuoso, and he did not disappoint. So here's some footage of a song called Crank It, uh, followed up by 666 pickers in hell and I caught pretty much all of of uh, crank it and then pretty much the beginning of uh, 666 pickers so thank you so much for being here and I'm going to post more footage from the Queensryche show and and, and John 5 of course uh, welcome to the world of John 5 if this will be your first uh, first introduction thank you so much for watching as always go to the website for your requests we're Unleash now, where it can do any music we want legally. We're, we're unbound as long as there's an agreement from the artists that they don't block the video, as long as they put advertising on the video, that we can show the songs in their entirety. We don't stop the music for anything. All right, guys, enjoy. Thanks for being here. Later.
unbelievable, right? Like just super talented and super fun. And we were right in the front row, uh, right behind the wheelchair. So we're getting pushed by, well, okay, let me back up. John 5, the way he dresses, the whole act, it brings out a lot of the fetish community. So there were some people that were dressed in an interesting way, shall we say. So I had like boobs, like like boob plates, like pushing against me. There was a, a gaggle of like five women that were all just dressed to the nines in fetish wear. And it, it felt like I was being kind of, I don't know, pushed by, you get it. And they, they did it to Kel too. And Kel would just kind of look back like, could you, there's wheelchairs in front of us. What's the matter with you? Who raised you? So it was really funny, but we had to kind of push back and then everything was cool. Um, the next video uh, of, uh, of the footage is going to feature uh, John 5 and a little surprise for Kel. It was just off the hook how the timing worked out. And if you've watched the Peter Frampton videos and the Joel Walsh videos, if you haven't, go back and watch because the, the Peter Frampton, Do You Feel Like We Do, and even the Joel Walsh video, um, uh, Rocky Mountain Way. Kel, Kel didn't know what the talk box was. <laughs> so she never never heard it, never seen it. So all of a sudden, like a couple weeks later after we did those reactions, there's John 5 with a talk box. And he just kills it in this song. And then after that, there's a very special medley um, in honor and memory of Neil Peart that had just passed away very recently. The show was January 17th, 2020. So, and there's other songs, I won't give it away. So click on that one if you want. It'll be, it'll be called John 5. I am John 5. Plus medley. All right. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Hope you had some fun. Ah, great to be alive when you discover something like this. Hey, all right. Take care.